Welcome to Fire Pinto's Northern Outpost. Today is going to be rust cleaning day for some spring shackles, uh, maybe some bu bumper mounts, anywhere we can find some rust that we got to take care of. So I'm going to show you what we got going on. So this is my haul from the junkyard. Got them all taken apart. These are from the Mustang 2, the turquoise Mustang 2 out in the junkyard. And these are the rubber bushings that I got out. They're pretty much not good. Um, and this is the one that came out of the Pinto. Uh, it's like worn paper thin not good it's supposed to look like that well for fairly baby without we'll the uh, big chunk of rust in there <laughs> but as you can see the Mustang 2 shackles look a little different than a Pinto one quite a bit longer Um, but I think we're just going to try them. The only issue is this is like kind of a 9 16 shaft on here. A little undersized and that's half inch. And the Pinto would use half inch on both sides. So I would need a lot of these which you go on to Rock Auto and they list them, but they're out of stock and you can't find them anywhere. Which I really don't want rubber anyway. I'd rather have polyurethane. Now these came with my Calvert split leaf mono uh, springs. They came in the, the one end, they were held, held in by this good nut and bolt so I need more of these they'll fit in here so if I could get more of those I could put them in here instead of in the springs because the big bolt and needs to go in the leaf spring itself so I was looking around and ended up on Speedway Motors. So I just did a search because I remember what it was called. They are called Chrysler Pinto Leaf Spring Bushings, $10.99 a pair. So I, I don't know, I think that's weird that's what they called it. Because they use these bushings in pretty much all the older Ford cars. Oh, I do not. Apparently I'm not authorized on my phone. But anyways, I was looking at the questions in the, uh, in that, uh, listing. And people are asking dimensions for it. Well, that's one inch. And... They also said that the hole is not half inch, it's 9 sixteenths, which is exactly what I need. So I'm going to order those, and we're going to put all this together. But first, we got to clean some rust, which is a lot of rust. But at least not worn out like this. So let's get at it. Trusty big old round file. Oh my. We may need 
more than that looks like about a quarter inch of rust in there This is taking forever. If I take off too much, it's just going to drop right in there. Huh. Alright, well let's just not go too nuts then. pretty nasty in there if I take out any more rust it ain't gonna fit right so we're just gonna roll with that because eventually I'd like to put sliders on and I'd like to design those myself that'll take a little bit of time Good old junkyard parts.